What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to MLG Anaheim. Very, very excited for this matchup that we have coming up here. Curse versus Dare. And uh, in case you guys don't know who we are, I'm Golden Boy XCW. And I'm Benson. You are Benson. That is, that is very true. We, we look rather dapper, we I do. must say. We look pretty it's good really today. cool. So, uh, you know, big game in that last one, by the way. Big oh, shout outs God. to Unite Gaming for the win. It's just such, such a, a, an intense matchup, right? Yeah, I mean, Prime, we, we were both sat there and we were saying, yeah, Prime should take this. They looked really in control of the game for pretty much the entire series, and out of nowhere, they just lost it in the last s and I mean, Neslo actually picked up two aces. Yeah. Two aces in that search and destroy, and unfortunately, they just couldn't manage to take it to the last bit. Yeah, we were out there in the crowd watching. We were having a good time, but the matchup in front of us right now, it is about to go down. Let's talk about our first team. First up, it is going to be Curse. And, you know, Curse Gaming, this is a squad that I, I honestly believe is a, is, a, is a front runner in this tournament. They are very, very talented. A lot of people in scrims have been saying that, uh, or a lot of, I, I guess you say, fans have been saying that yeah. uh, Curse, they, they're, they're one of those teams that could really catch you by surprise. You know, they look so, so strong. And we were actually speaking to Twiz earlier on. And we were saying, you know, Twiz, how, how are you feeling going into this next game? And he was, you know, laughing, having a bit of a joke. He feels really comfortable about it. So I'm expecting big things to come from this Curse team. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. So let's actually go ahead and see the roster for Curse Gaming. So. Uh, bring that up and you see Twiz, <laughs> VL Fire, as well as Complex and Liar. And I mean, I tell you right now, uh, this is a, a roster of four very, very talented individuals really looking for Complex to go big. But uh, BL Fire, he is he is just a beast. Oh, he every time I spectate him, he just goes off. He, yeah. he is just a sensational Call of Duty player. I'm so, so excited to see what plays he's going to make today. And, uh, you know, Twiz, I just love watching Twiz play. There's yeah. something about Twiz's, you know, his play style, which is just always entertaining. He always manages to make big kills when it matters most. So this Curse team really do have a strong chance of going through. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. I, I think Curse is a very talented team, but they are going to meet some uh, formidable opponents. Oh, yes. And that is going to be the gentleman over on Dare now. Dare is a is a squad that, in all honesty, and here you see the roster, Historify, FaZe, Sham, and of course, Folsom. I, I really do believe in this roster. Historify is a very talented player. Yes. I used to be a former teammate of his, very talented. On the other side of that, Folsom as well. The YouTuber, now competitive <laughs> gamer, he has certainly shined uh, with Black Ops 2. You know, watching Dare play as well, I mean, I believe it's actually a game myself and you actually cast them on yeah. Pro Scrims. Dare, they, they're SP game. Wow, just just wow, they look so, so strong at SD, so I'm excited to see what plays we're going to have in SD today. But, you know, when it comes down to Curse versus Dare, it's it's one of those where I think a lot of people are, are counting Curse as the ones that are going to go ahead and take it. Yeah, I mean, Curse are definitely the favorite uh, going into this one. Dare are certainly the underdogs, but you know what? In all honesty, uh, Benson, you know, when I look at uh, when I look at Dare, I, I see a team that is capable of surprising you with this, with the search and destroys as well as the capture of flags. You know, yeah. I, I actually had a chance to speak with Nameless from Unite. Okay. They had an opportunity to scrim Dare. They 3 0 him in hard point only, though. So they didn't really play uh, search and CTF, and I think that that is uh, going to be something that's a little bit more of a strong suit uh, for Dare going into this matchup. Well, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting, that's for sure. You know, I'm so, so excited to see Curse play. I, I, I don't know why. I just have this good, good feeling that Curse are going to go big when it matters most. And you know, this is when it matters most. Yes. And MLG Anaheim, it's happening now. They, yep, they've just seen exactly what happened to Prime there. Prime with control of that game for pretty much the entire series, and they just lost it right at the back. And you know, Curse, as we said, going in pretty much hot favorites. Pressure's on them. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, Curse, they, they are the favorites, but I, I don't like selling their short. Yeah, um, of course. Yeah, of course. Because Sorify is a player who he does thrive on land a lot. Uh, Folsom has certainly had some great performances um, on land as well. When he was with FaZe in Dallas, they, they, they played very, very well. But the uh, the one thing that I am a little concerned about with Dare is their last minute pickup of FaZe yes. on this roster. So, and I think FaZe is a very good player. He actually was the player that qualified with this squad in the offset um, before they picked up Sham and, and Folsom, uh, you know, FaZe re uh, replacing Kahuna. Now, the thing for me is, uh, the thing that I guess I'm concerned about is how well this team is gonna mesh together, but they certainly feel very, very confident in one another. Let's see if that's gonna be the case here today. Well. If you had to pick one player from each team to tell the stream to watch out for, who, who would you pick from each team? Uh, you know, I would definitely say Historify for Dare. And on the other side, I would probably go with Twiz. Twiz is that, he's, yeah. a, he's a playmaker <laughs> for that team, you know? He, really he, he makes things happen. And I think that uh, Twiz is probably one of the most resourceful players in Call of Duty. Yeah, he really is. And as you can see, the first map we are going to have this evening is going to be Hardpoint Standoff and what a first map is going to be. Yep, and uh, all right, well, let's go ahead and uh, kick things off here. Uh, I am actually going to be taking a look at Historify's POV and seeing what we could do here. 
And uh, of course, you know, in looking at this one, I am a little bit concerned in regards to, uh, you know, I, I, I guess how they're going to come off the gate here and uh, get things going. But Dare already looking strong on the offset. They have been able to get some time on the hill. Uh, it is still the beginning of the game, though, nonetheless. So expect Dare to really start to answer back here. And Asorify picking up one kill there on the side. He takes out BL Fire, having a wrap around here by Elwall. Shots going to be coming in from the left side. And Historify not finding anyone yet. That first half point all about controlling those spawns for the second one. And Historify is going to have to go with a B23R. It doesn't manage to connect, get shot from behind. But an early lead coming out from there. This is surprising me. Curse actually giving them a lot of control in this map. And you've actually got Sham right now. He was on a four street, did get shut down. Meanwhile, for Curse, Complex, two kills. He was on that half point trying to rack up some score. Unfortunately, he gets taken down as well. Yeah, well, it seems like uh, Dare going to be able to uh, gather up the rest of this time. And you can actually see, though, on the map that Dare is also set up on the other side as well, on the green side. So they're going to be well prepared here as we go ahead, jump on board with Sham. He's actually going to be watching around, finding one player in front of him. Good shots there by Sham. Able to clear that one out. Finding another one. He is going to get dropped there. Now, let's take a look and see what is going on as Curse have managed to gain control of the Green Hill. Well, having a look over at Complex, he's on that hill and he's just trying to rack up a little bit of time. Obviously, they allow Dare to get a lot of time on that first hill, but in goes Complex. Managed to pick up one and also getting his score streaks. Now, how vital is that going to be? He has his Hellstorm missile, but as you can see, desperately trying to challenge. He's going to have a few more in front of him. That's one get challenged, taken down, but importantly, did pick up all three of those score streaks. And you have to think how important that is going to come into play moving into even potentially the next hill where you could probably use that as a, as a bit of an anchor, right? Which I, yeah. I think Complex might end up doing. Or you could end up saving it there and throw it in by the uh, back farm. That could be a possibility as well. So I, I like the fact that Complex already off the gate has a lot of freedom to work with here. So uh, certainly going to be a player to watch in this one. And with due reason, he is a very talented player. What we need to do is keep our eyes on Sham right now. He has three kills. He was on the half point. He's a kill away from picking up that Hellstorm missile. And as you see, it's still the game very, very even at this point. You know, 62 to 31, not that much of a difference between these two teams. And Sham, just look how slow he's going to take this. He needs to pick up this kill on the left-hand side. Doesn't do so. BL Fire comes out strong there. He managed to shut down Sham. Uh, meanwhile, BL Fire, he actually has two kills to his name. So we need to keep our eyes out on him. He's trying to build those score streaks. Have Sham in front of him. Does connect. Nice plays coming from him. Yeah, I, I like BL Fire's control of the, uh, of the alley there. So definitely very very effective here, but you know what? The hill has been contested and stopped. So it seems as if, if, I, if I'm gathering this correctly, that they're, they're playing just like uh, very conservative. And then when they need to, they rush in there with a lot of force. That yeah. seems to be the case it's definitely going on here. Curse need to answer back. Still very early in the game, though. So uh, they maintain about a 30-point lead, Dare does. Uh, at the very least, it is very possible for Curse to come back. Phase just an assist away from a Hellstorm missile. He's going to have to play that slow. He has tagged someone up. If Sham can pick up that kill, that will actually give him the Hellstorm. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, you actually have Complex. I believe he just dropped his sentry gun down right yes. at the very back. But now, Phase, he has that Hellstorm. Now, how is he going to use this? Is he going to use the Hellstorm to actually take down the sentry gun? Well, he's going to see it. Is he going to go for it? Yes, he is. Smart play, plus is it. That should take down the sentry gun. Very, very intelligent use there of his score streaks. Yeah, they certainly needed to shut that one down right away. I, I know that they were not prepared for any black hats, yep. and uh, they. They did have, uh, I think, like one or two trophy systems around that area. So at the very least, they were able to do something about that. Their phase is actually going to end up getting taken out, though. And right off the spawn, he's going to throw down that lightning strike. So let's see how effective this is going to be as Curse have managed to make control of the red store here. They are actually going to get picked off. And now Dare, once again, with the control. Quite surprised how Dare is coming off the gate here. Quite aggressive against, uh, against Curse. Yeah, Curse. I think they're struggling a little bit at the start of this game, but they're going to try and come back into it on this hard point now. You've got Complex. He's just over in. Is he going to the kill? Yes, he is. That was FaZe. And he could actually overlap his score streaks if he picks up a few more kills on this hard point. There's only 13 seconds left, so I'll be very, very surprised to see anyone challenging him. He should be able to just pick up these scrap points and just try and reduce that deficit that right now there have over Curse. Yeah, yeah, and uh, Complex actually taking advantage of the uh, lightning strike that's going to be coming down here. So, uh, you know, because of this, he's going to be in the mid-hole. He's, he is able to pick up two there, taking off both of the champ, finding another one right behind him. He's able to pick that one up as well. And now there will be one player left that uh, will be there for the contestant. He's able to drop him. As well. Oh, man. Complex was working on something lovely there, but uh, he is finally picked off by champ. What's important to note there was Complex actually shut down the sentry gun. He threw his EMP yeah. just before he died. That did actually take down the death sentry gun. So that's a very, very important play. And as you can see now, Curse feeling a little bit more comfortable Getting some more points on the board. Can Complex pick up this kill? Yes, he can. That was on phase. Looking for the second. He's going to pick that up as well. That was on Sham. Can he try and find any more? You can see his score streaks. He still has the Hellstorm to use. Still
still has the sentry gun as well. This is a really, really nice play now from Curse. Yeah, and uh, by the way, if you, you know, you check out the scoreboard, by the way, 19 wow. and 11 for Complex. He is playing phenomenal right now, uh, maintaining his position, you know, just making sure he's getting the right calls. He now is fully streaked out once again. He's on a five score streak at this point in time. Really, you cannot argue with how well Complex is playing. He's the difference maker for Curse right now, and he is bringing him back in this game. He did just actually get taken down, but look out for BL fight. Oh, just as I say that, Curse of the Caster, he was on four kills. Unfortunately, he <laughs> just couldn't manage to pick up any more. And I'm going to see exactly how he's going to try and break this hard point now. Elias just gone in to contest it. Is he going to go towards the front door? Well, he doesn't even need to try and help his teammates out. They've just done all the work there for him. He's desperately trying to find someone over towards the petrol side. Has one in front of him, but only managed to land one burst. The second goes in front of him. Nice play. He's picking up the two piece there. BL fire really in control. Yeah, what, I, what I've learned in my times of playing against and also passing field fire, you know, you never you never count him out. He is a, one of the most reliable players in Call of Duty and consistent as well. I mean, this guy is, is a talent that I think really meshes well with this first squad. And now, just as we were talking about talking about how Dare had control, that is not the case this time around. Curse yeah. now taking the lead for the first time in this game. They're looking very good. Let's see if they're going to be able to maintain this, but oh it's going to be moving over Complex. to the blue. This, this is just all down to Complex right now. He has seven kills. Unfortunately, does go down. He used his health on missile, managed to get a very important kill. Actually managed to shut down the dare anchor, so that was a really, really important kill, but still managed not to get the best of scores there. Throwing the EMP grenade over, has to pick up this kill, does wow. so. Nice play from Complex. He really is just going off. I believe he's very, very close to actually breaking that 30 kill mark. He's 28 for 13, nine caps, seven defense. Just some amazing play right now coming from Complex. He has been the player to keep them alive in this game, finding one player right in front of him. He does break the hill. He's going to get some support from BL Fire at the very least, and they get blue control. So, you know, you got to give them credit. It, man, they are just on fire right now. Curse have managed to fight their way back into this game. There, they had this one. They let it go yep. from their grip, and, and that is so unfortunate. But there is not out of it yet. It is still a very close game with plenty of time on the clock. Oh, absolutely. When you've got three minutes left, anything can change. We can't write out there just yet. As you can see, nice play coming from Sham. Just flew into that hard point, shut down Complex before he got any of his streaks. And more players actually going down. Let's have a look at someone closer towards that hard point. I believe it's actually going to be complex. Very important kill there from him. He shuts down. Sham still has that lightning strike. Let's not forget, picks up the assist there as well. Currently, EMP goes for the challenge. Not sure if that was the right play there, but, you know, still has that lightning strike. Like I said, now, how important is that going to be, Golden Boy? When is he actually going to use that? Well, I mean, I, I think that uh, the most beneficial time for Complex to bust down that lightning strike is going to be when it goes down to the mid-hill, right? When it yeah. re, uh, I guess, forms back to the first hill. That is going to be the time where Complex will do it. He'll be able to get that early break, allowing the team to get that control. Because you know what? When I look at the other side for Dare, no one has streaks. So at the yeah. very least, Complex has that slight advantage. But I'm, I'm wrong, though. He actually ended up throwing it down right now and uh, only takes out one player. I think he was just trying to secure the last 25 seconds because he knows this is a big 25 seconds. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. If he can get these extra 25 seconds, that's pretty much going to put the game out of contention. Nice play for Complex. Can he pick up the second? No, he can't. Luckily, though, Lyre was there. He took down Sham. Nice play. And as you can see, Curse now just 25 points away from taking the victory. Halfway is about to rotate in 10 seconds. They've lost control on that bomb side, but Complex, can he pick up that kill? Yes, he can. Fantastic plays from him. He really has just been the MVP in this game. He is playing so great. I mean, he is 37 and 16 wow. right now. He is very close to dropping a 40 bomb. I mean, it, I, I'm out of a loss for words here with how Complex is playing. Managed to find Sham. He picks him off, knowing that there's going to be a player inside of the hill complex moving down. He's able to find one and a no second. Way. Oh, he's get oh. No, he doesn't. He got the break, though, and uh, he is very close to that 40 bomb. There you go. 40 for wow. the start. Take it on the store fight. That's it. Wow, what a game for Complex. Um, unbelievable play, really, from Complex. Uh, he's got something like 28% of his kills all on that hard point. Yeah. So he's just doing that OBJ work when it matters most. And you can see Curse now just really starting to dominate. Is he Complex once again goes in? That's the two piece. Shuts down Folsom and also FaZe. Picks up the hard point control, dodges the Hellstorm nicely. And he could actually get a few more kills here. Not going to happen this time. But theoretically, I'm just trying to do the maths quickly, they can still actually come back into this game. Yeah, but the way that uh, Curse is playing right now, I mean, they are set it's up. Impossible. You can actually see, though, <laughs> if you bring up the Codcaster band, you, you will see right there that they are it's, set yeah. up on green. They are it's more than ready to go. That is pretty much going to do it there. I mean, honestly, if they maintain that control, I don't think that Dare is going to be able to crack it. But Folsom, though, able to pick up a two-piece at the very least. So uh, Dare trying to show some life at the end. And you know what? They might be able to do something about it, but they have to have some impeccable it's, it's, play here. It's over. The, that hard point contestant just about did it there. Yep. And that is going to be Curse picking up the first map in this wow. best of five. Now, 
To be honest, I don't think a lot of people are going to be surprised about that, but there, like you said earlier on, Golden Boy, they started that so, so well. They were in control for pretty much the whole of that half point game, and then out of nowhere, it, it was just all there. Also, yeah. all, all Kurtz. I, I agree, man. It complex was a big reason behind oh, that. Absolutely. You know, you got to give love, though, to BL Fire and Liar, who is someone Definitely. we really don't talk about that much because he's that he's that consistent player uh, for Curse as well. And Twiz just having a great performance. But complex has stole the show 110%. That is going to do it right there. 242 to 223. What a game there for Curse. Fantastic, fantastic plays coming out from that entire Curse squad, like we said. And, you know, looking at that depth performance, what was it really that, that went wrong for them there? Because as we were saying, they, they were in control, and I'm just trying to work out what happened. What, what was the fundamental difference there between the two teams? Well, I, I mean, in all honesty, man, uh, Darrow, they were just feeding Complex. So he was just getting, he was getting <laughs> he, he was getting fed. He, he, I think he had a uh, streak after streak after streak. Yeah. He, I think he had like three full streaks, yes. uh, you know, like consistently. That, that's pretty crazy uh, when you think about it. And honestly, that's something you cannot do in Hardpoint because score streaks play such, such a critical role. Yeah. Moving on, though, into the next game type, it is going to be Express Search and Destroy. Look for Dare to make some noise in that one because they are a very good Search and Destroy I, team. I love watching Search and Destroy. I really, really do. And, you know, these two teams, Dare, they just look so strong. Every time we see them on MLG Pro Scrims, they just, they just go off every single time. Yeah. Now, I think if there's ever going to be a map that they can take off Curse, it's going to be Search and Destroy. Yeah, I, I mean, if I agree with you. Yeah. You know, Dare has all the capability of doing so. Um, but the thing is, though, is that Curse, you got to be feeling really good after that win, oh, yeah. right? Absolutely. So I, I think that they might be able to uh, to maybe counter them on search. We're going to see what happens. But guys, don't go anywhere. More Call of Duty action coming at you 